is probably the most important thing you need to know when moving to Arizona. In fact, it's great information to have if you're considering moving within Arizona, perhaps one subdivision to another. And in one way or another, I'm asked questions like, how do you get rid of scorpions? What is a scorpion? How do you kill scorpions? Does this property have scorpions? Today, I'll be reviewing things you need to know before moving to the desert. You don't want to miss this list. If this is your first time to our channel, my name is Sean Rogers, the lead of the Mr. Rogers Homes Real Estate Team, and we make videos about Arizona. So if you're thinking about relocating in and around the Phoenix metro area, my contact information can be found below. So let's talk about Scorpions 101. What I do know is those little critters are almost indestructible. They do have at least one Achilles heel, weak spot, and that is under a black light, they shine like a glow stick. So what you wanna do is get in touch with us and we'll send you a reputable pest control company, Bug Guy. What they do, and it's pretty interesting and cool in fact, they go around the outside of your house and sometimes inside of the house with that black light going up and down, left and right. If that light runs over the top of or scans over a scorpion, it'll light up again like a glow stick. This is an indication that, well, you have scorpions or the house could have scorpions. And even if it, the house doesn't or the bug guy doesn't find any on his initial run through, that doesn't mean these next tips wouldn't be beneficial to you. Here's my point. Most people that don't have scorpions could and should, it's recommended to treat the property. Now, when we say treat the property, we're traditionally not treating it for scorpions to get rid of them, unless, again, the pest control company has already determined that you have them. But if you do not, what you're actually doing when you treat the property is getting rid of the food that the scorpions will eat, the spiders, the crickets, etc. If there's no food for the scorpions, it greatly decreases the chance of scorpions in coming around. No food, no scorpions. But fear not, most properties in Arizona could have them. Traditionally, you can handle them with no problem or have somebody else handle them. Again, hire a professional or go to your local hardware store and buy a bug spray and every three or six months, monthly if you want, weekly, every day if it's on your mind, spray the circumference perimeters of your house problem traditionally solved. Let's talk about a subject nearest and dearest to my heart, actually my stomach, food in Arizona. There are so many different places to stuff your pie hole, it's ridiculous. And you'll never run out of different places to try sometimes the same plate. So let's consider that a plus, but on the same bullet point, let's also consider it a minus. And here's why. I'm originally from New York, so I like thin crust, my wife, originally from Chicago, she likes deep dish. So probably the pizzeria that you go to will serve both. The negative is, and how could that be negative that they serve both so you don't get in an argument of which pizza you go with? Well, bear with me. You usually don't encounter or enjoy the pizza exactly like you remember it from your hometown. Again, for me, New York, for my wife, Chicago. So they try really hard to make it the way you would remember it. And many of the places here are from the original places that you are from. It just must be something in the water. So take that for what it is. When you get here, go crazy trying different pizzerias, for example, and you let me know in the comments below when you found that perfect piece of pizza. This next must know fact, if you're considering moving to Arizona, still makes me smile because I didn't know it when I moved here and I wish somebody would have told me. Thus the main purpose for this video. Arizona has water. It's got creeks, ponds, rivers, lakes, beautiful lakes. In fact, one of our most popular videos is the top 10 lakes in Arizona. There's way more than 10 lakes, but we just picked the top 10. So if you're into swimming, boating, fishing, scuba diving, waterboarding, wakeboarding, paddleboarding, I think you get the picture. Arizona has all of those activities because it has why? These next two things that no one considering moving to Arizona are two different items but fall under the same category, fireplaces and coats. That's because it does get cold here at night and or in the winter. True, we're in the valley of the sun and most of the months you don't need them, but there are certain times that you're going to need them. And many houses have fireplaces and most people have coats 
for just such an occasion. The next thing you need to know before moving to Arizona, it's an outdoor person's paradise. Hiking, golfing, tennis, mountain biking, you can enjoy these events year round. Now I know you're saying, hang on a second, what about the summer? It's extremely hot. It is, and we'll talk about the weather a bit more in this video, but you actually get acclimated to it. And you learn when to do certain events during the summer. Best time is usually early in the morning and later in the evening. But the huge perk about moving to Arizona is this. You never have to worry about something being canceled. Again, originally from upstate New York, I'd take a day off, want to go swing the sticks, and it would start raining. That was quite the bummer because you didn't know when the sun would come out again. Nothing against the original hometown, but that really got me depressed. I wanted to go play on my day off. Here, you don't have to worry about that. Don't believe me? Google it. You'll see how many days it rains. As a matter of fact, let me know what you find out. Leave that number in the comments. I guess my point being is, whatever you want to do outside, most of the year, you can. During the summer, you'll learn to adjust around it. And in time, it really won't bother you as much as you think it would. This next golden nugget for you to consider before moving to Arizona is for our furry friends, specifically dogs. It's really not a good idea to walk them during the day, May through September. Even though many pet stores sell little booties for their paws, it's just too hot. Trust me, if they could talk, they would tell you, get me off this pavement and never ever leave your pet in the car during those months as well. Probably never a good idea to leave your pet in a car, but the interior gets so hot. It's just not fair. This next thing to know when considering moving to Arizona usually gets an eyebrow raised and a comment something like, oh, must be nice. But it's true, what I'm about to tell you is fact. It very rarely rains here. When it does, it doesn't rain for long. It's almost like a national holiday. You can hear farmers screaming, free water. That's because it very rarely does. So although you might be coming from a place that it rains all the time and you never want to see it again, I get that. I have the same feeling about snow. And to be truth be told, I'm okay if I never see snow again. This next thing to consider before moving to Arizona could be a lifesaver. In fact, if you're in Arizona, it's a lifesaver. Roadside assistance. Now true, it could be said about other places in the country that have cold weather or snow. And also true, you don't have to shovel sunshine. But let me paint a little picture for you. You're driving down the highway in Arizona, mid-August, and you get a flat tire. I hope this never happens, but if it does, and you attempt to change the tire yourself, when you pop the trunk and you reach for that tire iron or spider wrench, it's going to be 2000 degrees. Then when you kneel down on the pavement, it's going to be hotter than the surface of the sun. I'm not a doctor, but can tell you it's going to be painful. So please consider getting roadside assistance. It will save you every time. It's also good because Batteries here in Arizona, much like the cold, the warm weather has an effect on the longevity of the battery. So having roadside assistance, you call them, they jumpstart your vehicle, and then you get yourself a new battery. And there's a tip worth its weight in gold if and when you consider moving to the Valley of the Sun. Here's a bonus thing you need to know when considering relocating or visiting Arizona, especially during the summer months, making sure you have sunscreen with you. Pick your favorite level of protection and scent and always have it with you. I've actually seen little bottles that attach to your keychain. How convenient, problem solved. Another must have, in my opinion, would be to have a windshield sun visor. Trust me, your dashboard is going to thank you. So will your beep when you sit down in the leather seats and when you grab that steering wheel, your digits are going to be happy as well. Plus, you won't feel like a piece of cookie dough being shoved in the oven when you unlock the door and drive away. I hope that must know fact helps you when you're considering moving to the Valley of the Sun. The next thing you need to know before moving to Arizona is that you'll be living in or around the desert. So you're going to get accustomed to different shades of brown. Light brown, medium brown, dark brown, 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 brown but you'll also come to see that we have 
other beautiful colors here. In fact, we have grass, winter grass, summer grass. I'll explain the difference when we talk. And many people have opted out of ever touching a lawnmower again and putting in artificial grass, some putting greens in their backyard. So cool and truly helps with the short game. Ceiling fans. Here's another thing you need to know. Most rooms in Arizona within your house will have ceiling fans or should. And did you know one direction pushes the air down, one direction pulls the air up? You usually switch them between summer and winter for maximum efficiency. Especially if you have a two-story property, you definitely want to have ceiling fans to circulate the air. This truly helps the air conditioning unit and you could always have remote controls if you're snug in a bug in the rug under your blankies and it gets a little too cold or a little too hot. There's your remote control. Adjust the speed that you want and enjoy Arizona living. And since we were just talking about ceiling fans, let's stay on the subject of home efficiency. That being window treatment. Most windows in your house should have window treatment. If they don't, you're probably going to want to look into it. Be it blinds, shutters, drapes, a combination thereof. And if your house sits in a direction where the sun will be down on it during the hottest times of the day, you're going to want to look into sunscreens. They come in different colors and different level of protection, but they drastically increase the efficiency of your air conditioning and decrease the amount of heat that goes through those windows. The next thing you need to know before moving to Arizona, you're going to become best friends with water. You need to stay hydrated. You need to drink water pretty much around the clock. Now, not necessarily if you're in your air conditioning home or office or you're doing laps, burning calories in the pool. I'm sure it'll suck down plenty of water there. But if you're outside, especially during the summer months, you have to get used to drinking water. Me personally, I'm not a big fan. So what I do is add some kind of tasty little additive. Right now, it's sweet and iced tea. It could be strawberry lemonade down the road. It could be anything that I like that takes the sting of water. Some people love water, some people don't. But the point is, when you move to Arizona or are thinking about moving to Arizona, you have to remember you're going to need to be like a camel. Drink a lot of water. I think it's pretty healthy for you too. And the last thing you should consider before moving to Arizona is the driving. We drive pretty fast here in Arizona. Now, there are other places in the country and the world where people drive faster. So I don't know if you consider that a plus or a minus. Also, there's certain times during the year where certain people, snowbirds, come to Arizona and they don't exactly drive the speed limit. In fact, much under the speed limit, yet they do decide to drive pretty much in any lane they want. One bit of good information on the highway scene would be it's so easy to merge on and off the highway because there's usually a separate lane and it goes on for miles when you're getting on and off said exits or entranceways, I guess both getting on or off the highway. If you're thinking about moving in or to the Valley of the Sun, all of my contact information can be found below and we would be happy, actually honored to get you moving. Until next time, please take care. God bless America. Talk to you soon.